Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss risks that relate to mobile technologies. What are mobile technologies? Mobile technologies are smartphones, tablets, wearables, and those devices, they become an important part in the corporate world. Why? Because they increase productivity. You can check your email on the go, work on your tablet, connect to, your, uh, connect to the mainframe, uh, complete a tax return, work on the audit assignment, so on and so forth. However, as we integrate those devices with our corporate life, it's going to introduce what? Various cybersecurity risks. Why? It stems from their inherent characteristic and differences from traditional desktop computing environments. So when you're working on the tablet or on your phone, it's a different system than as if you are working on your desktop. So it comes with a different risks. And these risks necessitate a proactive approach to cybersecurity tailored specifically to those unique challenges. So in this session, I'm just going to discuss those risks. What are the risks that are involved when we are dealing with mobile apps? Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Now bear in mind, mobile apps, they serve the same functionality as a desktop, but they provide, they, they give us a different risks. Like desktop computers, mobile devices access, process, and store a vast amount of sensitive information ranging from personal data to corporate secrets. This makes them attractive for cyber criminals. Well, there's a place where we can look for stuff. However, cybersecurity issues facing mobile devices are compounded by several factors. One is the operating system is different than your computers, different than your desktop. Mobile devices operate on a different operating system than desktop. For example, the iOS and Android as opposed to Windows and Mac. So each mobile operating system had its own unique vulnerabilities and required a different approach to security including a separate schedule for practices for patches and update. This diversity also necessitate a more complex security management to ensure all devices are protected against the latest threat. That's one thing. So it's a different operating system. Two, they're constantly exposed to public network. Unlike stationary desktop computers that typically connect to a secured and controlled network, mobile devices are connected to public Wi-Fi. And this constant change in network environment exposed them to a much higher risk of unsecured network connection because they're constantly exposed, making it easier for attackers to intercept sensitive data or deploy malicious attacks. So what are some common strategies that companies could use to address those cyber risks? One is they could implement what we call a mobile device management solution or MDM software, it allows organization to manage and monitor the security of all mobile devices remotely. And this way they can enforce security policies, ensure that devices are updated with the latest patches and even remotely wipe out data in case the device is lost or stolen. So once you report a device is stolen, boom, we delete everything. We would also, they should have regular updates and patch management. Keeping the operating system and all application up to date is crucial to protect against vulnerabilities. So organizations should have a system in place to quickly deploy patches and update to all mobile devices. Other mitigating strategies would include the use of security software. What does that mean? Installing antivirus and anti-malware software on mobile devices. And this way you could provide additional layer of protection and this software can detect and neutralize many type of malware that could compromise the service. Also you want to have a policy that we use our mobile devices on secure Wi-Fi. Since mobile devices often connect to public network it's important for organization to establish a policy around their use. 
This might include virtual, virtual private network. So when you are not on site at the company, you would only use VPN to encrypt data transmission and avoidance using the transmission of sensitive information over public network. And you want to use education and policies and inform the users, educating users about the risks involved with mobile devices and establish clear usage policy those two together can significantly decrease the likelihood of security incident. And this includes training on recognizing phishing attempts, securing devices with strong password, and understanding the importance of regular updates. Let's take a look at few risks that are associated with mobile devices. One of them is application malware. We, we also have malware on desktop. We could also have application malware. They're embedded in application, but it's mobile application. That's all what's to it. This application, they cover themselves as a legitimate software, but they are designed to steal information, spy on the user, gain unauthorized access to the device's system. Once installed, this malicious app can operate silently, gathering personal data, logging credential, or even banking information without the knowledge of the user. Uh, so what happened is this. The user would download a flagship app from an unofficial app store. That's why you want to go to an app store that's legitimate. So the app function as advertised, but it also contained malware that records keystrokes, record keystrokes, capturing password, credit card detail when the user typed them into the application or the website. So this is one risk, malware. Another risk is lack of updates. Mobile devices that are not updated on a regular basis are vulnerable to cybersecurity threat. So software developers frequently release update and patches to address those vulnerabilities. And I'm sure if you have a smartphone, you will see you get a message every once in a while, update your phone, make sure you do that. When devices do not receive these updates promptly, they remain susceptible to exploitation based on known vulnerabilities. A smartphone that has not been updated for several months, they could be missing several critical security patches because the attackers, they're constantly updating their, their methods, their resources. That's why the smartphone will need to be updated constantly. An attacker exploit one of those vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access, allowing them to install spyware without the user's knowledge. So lack of updates is a risk. Lack of encryption. Encryption is a crucial for protecting data stored on a device, making it unreadable without the correct encryption, usually a password or a PIN. So although they got the data, maybe if you encrypt the data, there's nothing that they can do. Mobile devices without encryption rely solely on basic access control like passcode, which can be easily bypassed. So this, the, the encryption is an, additional, is an additional tool that's gonna help you. A tablet without encryption is lost, the finder is able to bypass the lock screen by using software tools available online. So if you lost your tablet and it's not encrypted, they can easily bypass the lock screen. Since the data isn't encrypted, they gain access to the owner's personal photo, document, and email accounts. Another threat for mobile devices is physical threats. The portable nature of mobile devices makes them susceptible to loss or theft. Without Adequate access control, such as strong password, biometric locks, or remote wipe capabilities, unauthorized user can access sensitive information stored on the device by simply stealing the device. So a smartphone left unattended at a coffee shop is stolen. The thief is able to unlock the device using simple guesswork on the passcode. Then they can access the owner's banking app, which was kept logged in, and transfer money to their account. <laughs> so basically, how did you access everything? By, ba by basically first taking the phone, physical threat. So make sure you have strong encryption, strong password, um, log off you know, a minute if you're not using the system, so on and so forth. Unsecured Wi-Fi network. Connecting to public unsecured Wi-Fi network would expose the mobile devices to risks such as eavesdropping and man in the middle attacks. And we talked about those. Attackers can intercept unencrypted data transmitted over this network, including password and financial information. So <laughs> make sure to be careful when using your Wi-Fi or mobile device in an unsecure environment like an airport. You know, an attacker monitoring the network captures the login credential. They can gain access to your email account where they can find information about other accounts and services. Another risk of mobile devices is location tracking. Unauthorized location tracking involves GPS technology to monitor your, your movement. 
This information can be exploited for stalking the individual, targeted attacks, or gather confidential information about their habits, routine, or workplaces. Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com. What is the key reason for enforcing the use of virtual private network VPNs for employees accessing corporate resources over public Wi-Fi? So what's the main purpose of a VPN? VPN. Is it to increase internet speed? No, it doesn't increase internet speed. That's not the reason for VPN. To monitor employee online activities. No, VPN is not a monitoring tool. To encrypt data transmission. Yes. Yes, the VPN will encrypt data transmission, therefore protecting the user. This is a good answer choice. To reduce the need for passwords, no. <laughs> passwords is, are always good, whether you are using virtual, private network, or a public. Therefore, the answer is C as in Charlie. VPN encrypt internet traffic, making it secure from interception or eavesdropping, especially in unsecured public network. What should you do now? You wanna go to Farhat Lectures? Look at additional MCQs that's going to help you whether you're studying for your CPA exam or your accounting courses. Invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.